What is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be reacting to episode 2 of the Netflix NASCAR Full Speed series. I reacted to the trailer and episode 1 did say that I don't watch NASCAR but the series is making me want to watch it at the moment. Um, yeah, episode 1 was really good. I'm excited to get into episode 2. I think there's 5 episodes overall um, so I'll be reacting to every single one obviously. But anyway, I'm not going to talk any longer. Let's just get straight into it. Do, 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 do. Oh, this must be the Netflix group. Oh, man. oh god, now it's feeling like Drive to Survive. The drive to Survive moment when oh. sit down and yep. get all situated. Is that what we're going for? Bubba, congratulations. Welcome to Media Day. Welcome to the playoffs. How are you feeling? Not as good as you. You got a lot of energy for this early in the morning. Be sure to watch the kickoff race at Darlington. Oh, 100%. This is the worst part. Have you ever played beer pong? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> I have not played beer pong. Ever had a beer I pong? always find that this is so funny watching like the behind the scenes of them. Like, obviously, a lot of the times they're reading off a script, but you know, it's still weird to like. I don't know if this is going to make any sense, but it, it it just it seems weird to like watch the behind the scenes, and then when you actually if you put them together and you had like the behind the scenes and then the actual like video that they did for the media or whatever it's quite funny to compare them with i don't know maybe i maybe i'm the only person that thinks that but anyway yes you know what i mean mm -hmm. like ready one. yes sir right there right there Ryan. yes Woo! maybe like a little chin up on that one like you're yeah. like here's your shit kind of like come come and get this yeah let's see it you want this thing? Come take for I mean, your head's got to hurt after for media real. day. You got to be like, fucking hell, like. Am I going right there? We showered. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. The best part about making the playoffs for the first time is playing. <laughs> and obviously, if say like here, if you make the playoffs, then in every news outlet during media day, they're all going to be asking you the same questions, and you're like, <sighs> like, please get me out of here. Like, I think I'd go crazy. Yahtzee, bingo, connect four. There we go. Who's the championship four? Names only. Truex, Byron, Larson. And this will be our year. Took a long time. 23 car. Am I done? Okay. Bring it on. Can you explain to a NASCAR newbie how the playoffs work? The playoffs in NASCAR are different than the playoffs everywhere else. Oh my Points god, this bit is meant for me. Come from a stage win or a race win. Ten races, 16 drivers start out, go to three races and eliminate four guys. Now you move on to the next three races. Guys at the bottom four are eliminated, they move out. Go three more races, eliminate four more guys until you get to four uh, in the final race. Everyone else is out there at the same time but there's only four cars that can win the championship. To advance into the next round, you can either win a race or you have enough cumulative points to be above the cut line. You never want to be in the bottom four. We are okay. sitting P16, the last car in. We have three races to, to make up some ground. The first round, you got to be in the top 12 by kicking ass. <laughs> It makes sense now. Well. They didn't exactly explain it in the first episode, so I was like, oh, I don't know. Don't hit your sister. Oh, jeez. Oh. Was that oh. an accident, or did you mean to run into her? It's okay. You're good. It's okay. Could you imagine? I did it on purpose, actually. I think you're okay, Sensodyne. Doesn't care. <laughs> Joey Logano's the most valuable driver in the entire garage. If I was given the opportunity to create a race team from scratch and had all the money in the world and they said, who's our anchor driver? Joey Logano is going to be my pick. A two-time okay. champion. He's well-spoken, both in the media and with his team. He's what I call a franchise driver. This car wow. was the very beginning. And for some reason, my parents held on to it, which is so cool that they didn't sell it. I fell in love with it. Mainly because I could win I mean, at it. That could go for a lot of money <laughs> now, my like friend. I tried other sports. I sucked at them. Like this is this was it. Me too. Oh, do you? Yeah. Before he had even yeah. set foot at a NASCAR track, everybody knew who Joey Logano was, and that's a lot of pressure for an 18-year-old. I was yeah, that's fun. Winning <laughs> at that point, and then you get to the cup level. Nope, I got my butt kicked. Oh, oh no. I lost my job. 
you know, I've had those rumors that I was going to be replaced, and uh, I guess eventually I'm going to get the hint. And that's when Team Penske picked me up. You just do your thing and rip it, man. All the stars lined up perfectly. <laughs> like the best second chance you can ever ask for. Joey Logano takes the checkered flag at Michigan. Wow. It's Joey Logano who wins. His first ever Cup Series championship. I got chills. <laughs> Stepped into elite status. I was the most aggressive driver on the racetrack. Logano taking frustrations out in sheet metal. And that really ticked people off. It doesn't look like the conversation mm. is going oh. well. That was my advantage. That's what set me apart. And it's honestly who I am. Stop. Stop. I don't care about making friends at the racetrack. Drama! I don't want to be friends with any of them. I want to win, and I'll do it at all costs. He's been non apologetic. He's made a lot of enemies along the way, and now you have to respect him because of the trophies that he has in that trophy case. Yeah, but I guess if you want to make it somewhere, to sort of you're going to have enemies along comes the way. Out of nowhere and get something out of nothing. He did this last year when he won the championship. And Joey Logano is the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion. At Darlington. Pit stops will play just as much a role in the result. No matter what sport it is, like motorsport it is, I find it so fascinating, like watching a pit stop crew work as fast as they do. Like it, it's just uh, mind boggling to me. Bolt of the day. I love it. Drivers behind the wheel. Ready, three, two. In Darlington, the surface is so gritty that it chews tires a lot. You have to have a brilliant crew chief who strategizes very well and then directs a pit crew that is flawless on pit road. We're talking like 10, 12, maybe even 13 versus say before you'll make it. So this track like that high tire deck then. To the opportunity for one mistake, you're either gonna mess up or take advantage of someone else's mistake. Darlington has two nicknames. The lady in black and the track too tough to tame. If you disrespect the lady in black, she's going to bite your ass. Got it. To start the playoffs at probably the most intimidating racetrack of all is a nasty little trick by NASCAR. <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I do love the noise of a car. Green, green, green. So it's like a rolling start for NASCAR. Got it. Later. At Darlington, <laughs> the high line is the fastest line. You want to be right up against that wall, and invariably, you're going to hit it. Hamlin to the inside. Oh, he dear. He checks up, and Hamlin's got the lead. And you're going to lead paint all the way down the wall, and you're going to tear up the right side of your race car, which is what creates the Darlington strike, and that is a badge of honor for everyone. They'll tell you, if you don't leave with a strike, you weren't close enough to the wall. That's terrifying. Oh! Bubba was on the inside of the 22 car Logano. What an idiot. Denny Hamlin has been the dominant driver. If you're looking for somebody that knows his way around the track too tough today, don't look any further than Denny Hamlin. I think he's capable. Anything can happen though with 40 other cars on the great. I'm probably should head right. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. It is an extremely difficult race to get to the end to. Four tires on the jack. Because it's so easy to make a mistake there and tear up the car. Oh, yeah. We were <gasps> executing well right up until we won. Reddick fighting with Hamlin, running one and two before the pit stop cycle started. Reddick now in front of Hamlin. Oh. Chris, I might have a loose for you. Uh oh. We're talking about it. Problem for the playoff driver, who's led the most laps today. Oh, 
That's not the good. Didn't spool up quite as fast as it normally did. Just not quite tight enough. I don't have time. I don't have time. I gotta come. So Denny quickly realized there was a problem and had to bring it back to the road. Just a fraction of a miscue. The naked eye couldn't even detect the error. This is going to be a dagger for Denny Hamlin. Hamlin had driven a perfect race to this point. Chris Gaylord even said the crew has been perfect. He will settle in one lap down. Oh, damn. Be Just really annoying. Myself, made two mistakes and then got run on the wall the third time. <laughs> Move on to Kansas. Just like we were going to no matter what happened today. All right, I got some stuff to clean up and uh, we got to have a solid run next week. Next two weeks. Winning in Cup Series is like winning in golf. Like, I feel like the win rate is about the same. If you're killing it, you're winning 6% of the time. Like, it's just not, it's just hard. It's, it's so hard. How many races have you done? 600. That's too many. <laughs> Is that like whole cooking? Only 150. Ugh. How many should I win? 100. 100? Out of 300's on the line, like, we've got to step up our game to another level. Race two of the round of 16 is set for Sunday in Kansas. Meanwhile, it does annoy me when people, there's people out there that say, like, oh, racing drivers, all they do is drive. Like, <laughs> and I'm not even a race driver, and that annoys the heck out of me because you see the amount of um, preparation and work that goes into it. I'm like, oh, please shut up. Like, <laughs> standings, William Byron leads that count, followed by Tyler Reddick. And then Chris Buescher and Denny Hamlin, who are safely above the cut line, for now. Right now, Ooh, here the we go. Casino 400 from the Kansas Speedway on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We just need to get stage points and, um, you know, go into Bristol in a really good spot. So, yes, above all else, I'd love to get a win and not have to worry about it at all. But, you know, um, we'll, just, we'll just see how this race unfolds. Tyler Reddick, if he could move into the next round on the day that 2311 is starting its 100th race as an organization, that would be a monumental day. Tyler Reddick, Bubba Wallace, 2311. This is going to be a big day for this team. <laughs> Gosh, the music is making me scared. This sport, What's coming? On the crucible of falling out of the playoffs. They've got to perform today. Oh dear, I can feel the dramatic Netflix tension. Nasty. Boy, this is huge for a very fast car, hot driver, Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace at the tail end of the field right now. It's how you manage both sides. It's how you manage having a rough day and nothing's going to make it better. But then it's also how you manage having one of your career days and something goes south. As I got older, I realized how hard it actually is to win these races. How much has to go into it, how many things have to go right. I just am obsessed with winning, even if that means losing, you know, hundreds of times. Hamlet in front of Reddick. Both of them working together. Now here they are, Ooh. battling for the lead. He's getting closer. Reddick now with momentum. Reddick dives down low, three wide. <gasps> Buddy. Tyler Reddick will score the win. Denny Hamlin 
second. Good job, you little fucker. <laughs> you weren't even in the fucking picture until I wrecked. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> What a story coming out of Kansas. The first ever playoff victory for 2311 Racing. Tyler Reddick is on to the round of 12. Love it. And by the way, always interesting to consider what Denny Hamlin's thinking. The team he owns, doing great. But he's still looking for his first win of these playoffs. It's painful. Weekends like this are exactly what has kept me from winning a championship year after year. And now I get to go to the competition that stole it, that I'm supposed to be happy for. <laughs> and I am happy for him. It's just it came at my expense. As a mentor and an owner at 2311, you know, my job is to be an open book and help educate those guys in any way that I see can make them better race car drivers. The flip side to that, though, is that they are still competitors. And certainly the 45, the way he has started the playoffs, is a formidable opponent. If he continues on this trend, he could keep me from winning a title. So. Controversial. All right, the fun part. Bubba, talk to us about your weekend. You don't know when the fucking thing's gonna blow. So I had no indication. Yeah, if you're lucky, you get maybe a corner. Like, it's really hard to tell yep. when it's going to do it. Seems like we're always trying to come up from behind. It's just as soon as you get on a high, there's always something. And you're knocked back down. Mm. And, it's, and it makes you question, like, man, did I celebrate too hard? You know, did I blow that good part up too much to where it's like, okay, we got to humble you? You're never going to blow a tire running 20th. And you're never going to blow a tire when you're having an off day. You're only going to blow a tire when it's a really good day and you, you know you have a shot at winning. All in on the 23 this week. Let's get, get the bubble in the round of 12. At some point in the playoffs, you're going to have pressure on you. Your back's going to be up against the wall. You hope it's not in the first round like it is today, but it's going to happen. Bristol Motor Speedway. We are thrilled to welcome you guys back to the night race. The Bass Pro Shops night race being an elimination race is sure to put on some action tonight. I say it all the time, pressure is a privilege, right? We're in the moment to, to have the pressure because we're in the playoffs. If you're knocked out, you got no more pressure. And that sucks. So mm -hmm. we want to keep that pressure on for 10 weeks. It's a good way of looking at it. One stumble, one mistake. It's all it takes and your season's done you think that you're preparing during the regular season you think that you're doing everything you can but when you get into the playoffs and you're one of the people that are, have an opportunity to race for the championship you find another gear all right man 500 laps this bad after trick have fun be smart <laughs> This car was like airborne. For a little tiny bit then. At Bristol, I was very patient because I knew 10 laps into the race, 15 laps in, I've got a pretty good car. If I'm a playoff car in the back, I think I would consider staying out to try to get points, even with old tires. If we were to come, Bobby, do you need your thing? Just need a little bit better front turn. When the caution came out, I knew we were most likely going to stay out to try to get stage points. That's a bit risky. Stay out. Stay out. We finished the first stage third, so we got us some stage points there. Why do I have goosebumps? Oh, I just love racing so much. Good news, he's on the plus side of the cut line right now. I don't care what it is, I just love it. The worst thing you can have is a car that drives pretty good and still isn't fast. You race up in the front, you can manage your car a little bit. You get in the back, it's doggy dog. Shot there, 47, bottom three. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Guys, be ready for left rear here. Left rear, keep going straight. Talk to us. 
Left rear's down. Down. Probably more issues than that. Oh my. That's destroyed. Killed. Team, bring it down here, but I think we're done, bud. Two, one, and hold. Yeah, it's done. That's bring annoying. Before has the reigning champion been eliminated from the playoffs in the first round. He's got to have some guys crash out of this race right now, like a Bubba Wallace, like a Martin Truex Jr. It's hard to see a scenario where Joey Logano finds his way back. All right, Bubba, how are you looking? Did you slide your tires or anything? No, all good. Okay. 22 guys, severe damage left rear. Objective is pretty much still the same. You just keep doing what you're doing. That sucks. How do I feel? I'm a little angry at the moment. <laughs> but there's not much I can do about it at this point, so I guess I just watch it. No, it's our own fault. It's really your own fault. You're running the back, that's what happens. You don't go fast. It's your fault? Yeah, you're running back with the squirrels, get your nuts busted. Right? <laughs> you hear it a million times. That's what happened today. Yeah. When you say the season's over, I, I disagree with that. I try to finish fifth. Well, look, here's my chance. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here. there's a nice save there. That was a major save and might yep. have saved his playoff chances and might have been what Joey Logano was looking for. Everything okay there? I think so. Uh, 19 was one of the cars that we need to beat, right? And you, you see there, he's five over to cut right now. He got loose. Ho oh. ho. It's a helpless feeling because you just sit and watch other people do things, so we'll wait and see. All right, you're plus four for his points. And I was just like, on who? A plus four over who? You might be even better, but you know what, I'll shut up. Wow, learn your lesson. The 23 is good in four points, but a little bump and you're out. Right on your bumper here, trying to pack here on that left rear, and just trying to pack here. Don't let him run on night. Just let him go, just let him go. Don't fuck with him. He knows how he's fucking with me. That was the most stressful I had been. Don't give up four spots in the fun. Well, fuck up my race because you can't fucking pass me. Now is the time when teams are talking big picture. Drama. I just lose rhythm. Big lead here, three seconds. Big picture in front of you there. It seems like we always get better as an 11 team. We, we get stronger as races go on. And I choose to take a more calculated approach and put myself in the front at the end when it really matters. Then he continues to dominate. He has now eclipsed 14,000 laps that he has led in his Wow. Can to go. One zero to go here. Hamlin putting on a show right now. Bubba Wallace, four points above the cut line, under two to go. Good fucking work. And this time by, it's one lap to go. Denny Hamlin has put together an amazing race. He's led 142 laps, and he wins the night race at Bristol. Yay! Yeah. It is the Bristol night race! You guys kick fucking ass this round. I keep on it. Bubba Wallace, just finished this, baby. It looks like you've got yourself a spot in round two. Proud of you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Supposed to be out, this motherfucker. We're still in it. Great job, <laughs> Oh, there dear. Are 17 people who have ever won more than one Cup Series championship. 17 ever. Wow. Even if you're a prodigy like Joey Logano, it's still really hard. <laughs> I just feel like there's no weakness in my game. I don't think there's any weakness when I come to pit road. It's obviously working. When we're at our best, <laughs> it's hard to beat them. You keep putting yourself in position, eventually, if your roulette wheel is going to hit your number. Everybody likes a winner, it's right? A big fat That's trophy. Us at this point. So are these fans' motivation for you? There's a lot of booze out there. <laughs> That's one thing that's crazy to me is like, I feel like Americans do that a lot more. They boo an awful lot. Like, we, I think, I mean, we've had it recently in F1 a couple of times because, like, Max is winning everything. And um, or even, I think, Charles had some boos in, like, Mexico. 
Oh yeah, in Mexico when Checo crashed, there was a lot of booze. But we don't have it as much as America. I'm, that's not me saying I want it. I'm that's me complaining. I don't understand why people do that. Like, just because your favorite didn't win doesn't mean that you got booze. Up. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But I mean, he said he loves it, so. Yeah, I I enjoyed that episode as well. Really loved episode one. Um, episode two was great. Yeah, I think there's five episodes. So yeah, three more episodes to go. It's definitely um, looking like something that I'll probably get into when the season starts. Um, if you did want to check out any of my other socials, they are all linked in my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed today's reaction and I will see you next time for the next reaction. Bye. Bye.